addition and subtraction of fractions. Panoorin ang video ito at ituturo ko sa iyo. So this is our topic, addition and subtraction of fraction. Okay, let's have example number 1. 2 fourth plus 3 fourth. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin dito, kasi uh, the same denominator yan, all you have to do is to add the numerator. Ito yung numerator, ito yung denominator. Okay? So, i-add lang natin yung numerator, 2 plus 3 over, kopyahin natin yung kanilang common denominator. So, ang mangyayari dyan, 4. Okay? Kinopya natin yan sa common denominator ng dalawang fraction. Then, equals... Yan, i-add natin yan. 2 plus 3 is 5 over 4. So, since this is uh, improper fraction, we have to change this one into uh, mixed numbers. Okay, equals. I-divide natin yan. So, magiging uh, 5, 1. So, 1 and 1 fourth. 1 and 1 fourth. So, this is your final answer. Okay, let's proceed to number 2. Negative 3 over 5 plus negative 4 over 5. So, again, uh, i-add lang natin yung numerator at kopyahin lang natin yung denominator. So, negative 3 plus negative 4 okay, over 5. Kinopya lang natin yung common denominator nila. And then, equals, since the same sign, kapag mag-add tayo ng the same sign, di ba, yung last topic natin, we have to copy the common sign and add the absolute value. Okay, so ang mangyayari ngayon, 3 plus 4 is 7, then kopyahin natin yung kanilang common sign na negative over 5. Okay, then, Gawin natin itong mixed number. So, magiging negative 1 and 2 over 5. So, this is your final answer. Okay, let's proceed to number 3. 2 and 1 half plus 1 and 1 half. From mixed numbers, gawin natin itong uh, improper fraction. Yung first na... Mixed number, so 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, over 2. Kung ano yung denominator niya, yun ang kukahin mo. Then, plus 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So, 3 over 2. So, ang gagawin natin dito, pwede na natin i-add yung numerator kasi the same na yung din, kasi uh, improper fraction na sila. Okay? So, 5 plus 3 is 8 over 2. Ayan. Then, equals 8 divided by 2 is 4. So, this is your final answer. Okay, let's proceed to another example. Okay, another example, number 4. 1 half plus 1 third. So, ang gagawin natin dito, hindi natin siya pwede i-add agad yung numerator kasi hindi pareho ang kanilang denominator. So, pag hindi pareho ang kanilang denominator, hahanap tayo ng uh, LCD or yung least common denominator. Ang LCD dapat ma-divide sa 2, ma-divide sa 3. Okay? So, ang number natin na ang, ang LCD natin dito is 6. Dapat si 6 ma-divide sa 2. Yes, si 6 ma-divide kay 3. Okay? So, ang LCD natin is 6. So, 6 divided by 2 is 3 times 1, 3. Yan. Then, kopyahin natin yung plus sign. So, 6 divided by 3 is 2. Times 1 is 2. So, equals. Diyan na tayo mag-add. Okay? So, 3 plus 2 is 5 over 6. So, this is your final answer. Okay, last example sa addition of fraction. 2 third plus 1 and 1 fourth. Okay? May isang uh, proper fraction at isang uh, mixed number. So, ang gagawin natin dito, kopyahin muna natin yan si 2 third. Hindi na muna natin yung galawin. Then, itong si mix number, gawin natin yung improper fraction. Okay? 4 times 1 is 4. 
plus 1 is 5 over 4. Okay, so, ngayon, hindi naman pareho ang kanilang denominator. So, meaning, pukunin natin yung kanilang LCD. So, yung LCD, dapat ma-divide sa 3 at saka ma-divide sa 4. So, yung LCD natin is 12. Yes, 12. So, 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 2 is 8. Okay? So, 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 5 is... Uh, oh, puto. <laughs> Kupin mo natin yung plus sign. May agi si puto. Kalamay. 12 divided by 3. Uh, 4 is 3 times 5 is 15. Nawala ko sa kalamay. Yung puto. <laughs> okay, so i-add na natin yan kasi uh, nakuha na natin yung uh, denominator niya. At saka, so i-add natin to 8 plus 15 is 23. Okay? Over 12. Then, from uh, improper fraction, we have to change this one into mixed number. Okay? So, i divide natin yan. 23. So, 1. Hindi siya pwede 2 kasi 24. So, 1. So, 12. So, 1 and 1. So, 1 and 11 over 12. This is your final answer. Okay, let's proceed to subtraction of fraction. Okay, example number 1. 5 and 3 fourth minus 3 and 1 half. So, again, from mixed numbers, we have to change this one into improper fraction. So, 4 times 5 is 20 plus 3 is 23. Over, kopihan natin yung denominator niya na 4. Next, kopihan natin yung minus sign. Then, we change natin yan. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7 over 2. Okay. Then, hindi natin pwede i-subtract agad yan. So, dapat kunin muna natin yung kanilang common, ah, uh, yung uh, least common denominator. So, dapat yung LCD is ma-divide sa 4 at ma-divide sa 2. So, yung LCD natin is 4. Ang 4 ma-divide sa 4, yes. Ang 4 ma-divide sa 2, yes. Okay. Therefore, yung LCD natin is 4. So, 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 23 is 23. Kopyahin natin si minus sign. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Diba? Times uh, 7 is 14. Okay? Then, yung subtract na natin yan. So, 23 minus 14 is equal to uh, 9 over 4. Then, 9 over 4, we divide natin yan. Magiging 2 and 1 4 okay 2 yan diba so 8 then 1 so 2 and 1 4 so ito yung final answer natin sa example number 1 okay let's proceed to example number 2 so change muna natin yan 10 and 3 4 so we have to change this one into improper fraction so 4 times 10 is 40 plus 3 is 43 over 4. Ano yung denominator? Yun ang kopyahin. Next, minus sign. Kopyahin natin yan. So 8 divided by, uh, sorry, 8 times 2 is 16 plus 3 is 90 over 8. Then kunin natin yung kanilang LCD. Ang LCD dapat ma-divide sa 4 at ma-divide sa 8. So, therefore, yung LCD natin is 8. 8 divided by uh, 4 is 2. Times 43 is 86. Times 2 lang natin yan, di ba? Then, kopihan natin yung minus sign. So, 8 divided by 8 is 1 minus 19. Ayan. Uy, wala na akong space. Okay. Bilis po lang muna to ha? Okay. Equals... So, 86 minus 19 is equal to 67 over 8. Then, i-divide, i-change natin ito into mixed number. So, 67, 8. So, 8, 64, 3. So, 8 and 3 over 8. So, this is your final answer sa example number 2. 
Okay? So, let's proceed to example number 3. Negative 1 over 3 or negative 1 third minus 3 fourth. So, since uh, proper fraction sila pero hindi sila pareho ng denominator, di natin pwede sila i-minus agad. So, ang gagawin natin dito, uh, kunin muna natin yung LCD. So, yung LCD natin is 12. Si 12 ma-divide sa 3. Saka si 12 ba divide sa 4 So 12 divide by 3 is 4 Times negative 1 is negative 4 Kopyahin natin si minus sign 12 divide by 4 is 3 Times 3 is 9 This is positive Okay Equals So since uh, mag apply tayo ng uh, subtraction of integers ba diba? we have to change the sign of the subtrahend And We'll proceed to addition. Ito yung subtrahin, ito yung menu win. So, hindi natin galawin yung menu win, yung sign lang ng subtrahin. So, we'll proceed to addition. So, magiging ganyan yan. Negative 4 plus negative 9. Okay? So, pwede na sila i-add. Diba? Kukihan natin si 12. Diba? Ito yung rule lang uh, subtraction of integers. Eh. Na-discuss ko na yan that, sa last topic pa. Okay? Mag-change. I-change natin yung sign ng subtrahin and proceed to addition. Kaya nagiging plus sign yan. So, equals. Add natin yan. Diba? Kapag mag-add tayo ng the same sign. Diba? Pariho ang sign. We have to copy the common sign. Yung common sign nila is negative. Then, i-add natin yung absolute value. So, 9 plus 4 is 13 over 12. Okay. Dito na lang tayo sa baba. Or negative 1 and 1 over 12. So, this is your final answer sa example number 3. At maraming maraming salamat sa panonood At kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe sa channel ko, please subscribe para updated ka sa lahat ng mga videos na i-upload ko. See you to my next videos. Bye-bye!